The renaissance of queer ballroom. Voguing and other dazzling dance moves are featured in Beyonce's concert documentary, the number one movie in America. And Ashin, you went behind the scenes with the tour's breakout star. That's right, Juju. It's no secret that Honey Balenciaga is one of the biggest stars in the game right now, and she's a perfect window into this culture with roots in the queer community that date back at least five decades. The icons of ballroom enduring and overcoming so much, but this younger generation still facing violence and sometimes deadly threats. Mm, so true. Let's take a look. You know, this is not like something I would wear to like any other type of event. Can we maybe take off a little bit in the front? Because when I'm kicking it, it kind of goes under my leg. For Brooklyn native Honey Balenciaga, wearing a couture gown at a major movie premiere was always a part of her life's plan. I've always told myself I'm going to be a celebrity, so if I don't think that, then I'm not going to become that. Like, this is a big moment for me. <laughs> that big moment? Getting ready to see yourself on the silver screen as a featured dancer on Beyonce's Renaissance World Tour. The movie released in theaters this past weekend. The goal for this tour was to create a place where everyone is free. The highest decorated Grammy winner's seventh studio album was released in July 2022 and debuted atop the Billboard 200 chart with hit singles like Break My Soul. And fan favorites like Summer Renaissance. I wanna house you and make it take my name. Renaissance embraces the dance music styles of disco and house. That sound, nurtured by an underground queer community of the 70s, 80s, and 90s in New York City. A still thriving scene where Queen Bee's team scouted the tour's dancers. I love them, I owe them everything. And the tour's breakout star, 22-year-old Honey. She's proven herself a formidable dancer, conquering the main currency in competitive ballroom, Bogey. When you first started voguing, I mean, what about it did you love that, that, that set it apart for you from other styles of dance? It allowed me to feel feminine and bold and audacious. And it allowed me to start feeling comfortable in my skin. So when I'm able to express myself, I don't think any other style really moves me the way Vogue does. Strike the pose. Voguing, ushered into the mainstream by Madonna in 1990 showcased an already developed dynamic underground scene created by black and Latino LGBTQ plus folks and primarily trans women. I always wanted to be a woman, but I never wanted to be a poor black woman. Long before voguing was a household term, Junior LaBeja made their name in this building on 129th Street in 1980s Harlem once known as Elks Lodge, and the birthplace of what would become known as Ballroom. In Ballroom, it was a gay pageant. You fit a category, whether it be face, realness, sex siren, high fashion, walking down fifth, thug realness. The ballroom scene of the 1980s, famously documented in the movie Paris is Burning, and Junior, the blueprint for a ballroom MC. An evening bag is a must. You have to carry something. Heavily inspired by Junior himself, Billy Porter's character as the MC in FX's drama series, Pose. Just place that jacket in the Christmas ornament box and we'll get back to you. Pose is a story about a chosen family of LGBT and queer kids who gather up together to go to these competitions that make them feel good, that gives them a voice in the world, that lets them feel like somebody. Come on, don't keep me in suspense. Rip the Band-Aid off. Blanca, the test confirmed that you have HIV. The main character, MJ Rodriguez, she found out she was diagnosed with HIV. And in that time in the 80s, that diagnosis came with a death sentence. When I first saw the face of AIDS is when I came out to the ballroom community. You know, I would see people here today, gone tomorrow. AIDS, a disease for which there is no known cure. 70% of the country's AIDS victims are homosexual. 
actually see myself fading away. Unfortunately, for people like us, we have mourned and grieved and lost so much, we have a thick skin. I watch my dearest of friends laid in my bed and wanted the world to perceive them as crackheads rather than mention the word AIDS. As the queer community was ravaged by the health crisis, Harlem was hit with a second punch, a drug crisis. The AIDS diaspora Crack, dope, coke is eating us up alive. But you couldn't see it how beautifully we presented ourselves. I would say, well, darling, let's be like Scarlett O'Hara. If I have to lie, cheat, steal, or kill, I'll never be hungry again. I'll cry tomorrow. With their backs against the wall, and few places to turn, especially after many had been disowned by their birth families. The community formed their own, creating houses and, in turn, chosen family. I need a place to stay. I need a mother in my life. I need a father in my life. And so the house is there to give you support. The house is there to mobilize together and go into these balls. And am I looking away from the camera or to the camera for the shots? Today, high-profile performers okay. like Honey, whose home is the house of Balenciaga, are voguing at highs that were out of reach for ballroom's forebearers. Oh, that's hot. Growing up in Brooklyn's East New York neighborhood and drawn to being the center of attention, <laughs> Honey learned how to dance at a young age. Which came first, dancing or, or ballroom? I was a theater kid. I love singing, I love acting, I love dancing. I learned ballet, tap, jazz. I was never really surrounded around queer folk or anyone in the LGBT community. I thought it was weird. I was like, why do I like boys? Is this real? Am I supposed to like boys? And ballroom definitely gave me that strength to find a person I want to become and be comfortable in my gender and body identity. Through an after-school program, Honey found an outlet to learn and perfect her dance of choice, voguing with other top voguers in New York. While considered the mecca for the world of ballroom, New York is still well. New York and Honey wasn't immune to the city's grit. New York's a tough city to grow up in for anybody. You gotta be a tough cookie. Yeah, what was it like growing up for you? I remember getting called the F word a lot in Brooklyn. There was no one else that was really gay. So it was hard to go to school and feel like I was the only girl in the world. <laughs> you you kind of got numb to the bullying. People were very bold and weren't open to queerness. But I, one thing about me, Barham has definitely taught me how to walk with my head held up high. You have to show and walk with this and exude this confidence. Honey parlayed that confidence from the competitive New York City ballroom scene all the way to sharing the stage with Beyonce. Freaking Beyonce. She's always had her eye on ballroom. Having the biggest artists in the world make such a big statement, very special to not only me, but to ballroom. It's been a meteoric rise for both Honey and ballroom, from the fringes of the Big Apple to pop culture's center stage. But even at the highest of heights, Renaissance is selling out MetLife Stadium. Just miles away, a young man proudly voguing could bring a death sentence. Stay with us. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.